What kind of clothes do you love to wear? Fashionable and unique, I think. I have good taste in clothes. I know what suits me and what doesn't. I always wear clothes and never let clothes wear me. People say clothes speak one's personality. I couldn't agree more. I love chic clothes. I'm vibrant, sparkling, and fashionable. Where do you normally get clothes in China? Wow, I'm totally spoiled for choice. Shopping malls, department stores, boutiques, wholesale markets, and online stores. I normally buy clothes online because they're quite cheap and it's time-saving. Are the clothes in China very expensive? Well, it depends on what kind of clothes we're talking about here. Clothes of luxury brands like Chanel, LV, Gucci, and Hermes are very expensive. I guess it's because import tariffs are heavy. But as to domestic brands, clothes are pretty cheap. What kind of pattern of clothes? Stripes, plaids, or flowers? Well. I can't say one particular kind is my favourite. I mean, a nice piece of clothing is definitely not just about stripes, plaids, or flowers. The colour, design, and style are all important factors. And the key to bring a piece of clothing to life is not what you wear, but how you wear it. In other words, you should wear the clothes, not let the clothes wear you. Can you tell people's personality? By the clothes they are wearing, as the saying goes, "Don't judge a book by its cover." We shouldn't judge people by the clothes that they wear, but they do have this incredible magic to show others the personality of the person who wears them. I think it's what we call the fashion sixth sense. If someone wears designer clothes, business suits and tie all the time, he might be rich, stuck up, serious, or harsh. But if someone loves to wear clashing bright colours like bright red, pink, gold, yellow, and cute accessories like L in Legally Blonde, she must be frisky, bubbly, and sweet. Which factor do you consider more when you buy clothes, the utility or the design? It depends on how much they are. If they're designer clothes and very expensive, I'll definitely consider the utility more. I don't want to spend thousands of rem and b on something that I can only wear one season, but if they're in my price range, I'll put the design in first place. I mean, even if it's out quickly, I won't regret spending the money. After all, fashion changes so fast that something which is in this season would be totally out in the blink of an eye. What kind of colour do you love now? Well, it's pretty hard to particularly pick out one colour. I love a lot of colours now. I love contrasting colours like green and Chinese red, bright blue and lemon yellow, burnt orange and metallic grey. They're all eye-catching and sparkling. Besides, I love black too because it gives people a mysterious, mature, and sophisticated vibe. What kind of colours do you love more, bright colours or dark colours? Light colours appeal to me more because they make my complexion look great, and I totally buy the saying that colours speak one's personality. Take me as an example. I fancy bright colours. I am sparkling and vibrant. What kind of colour did you love before? When I was little, I was a big fan of pink. Different tones of pink: baby pink, light pink, bright pink, Barbie pink. But now I don't fancy pink any more. I think it's too girly and a little bit cheesy. What kind of colours do young guys love? Well, it totally depends on their personalities. If they're vibrant and sparkling, they might fancy eye-catching colours like burnt red. Barbie pink and metallic blue, while if they're mature and low key, dark colours might appeal to them more. What colours do Chinese love? 
What do these colours mean to Chinese? Red is one of the colours beloved by the Chinese. The colour red symbolises celebration, happiness and good things. In the celebration of the Chinese New Year holidays and gatherings, red is a must. Even in Western countries, people call days when something happy happened red letter days. And they say, roll out the red carpet to welcome honoured guests. And the colour yellow was, in ancient times, the symbol of the royal family, especially the emperor. Yellow symbolises supreme power, the highest status and nobleness. What is the colour that you would never use in your flat? Any dark colour, I guess. It's too dark, too depressing and too unacceptable to be used to paint the flat. A flat is the place which is supposed to give people a warm and cosy feeling. Therefore, colours like white, like green and beige can serve better. Is there any brand of clothes that is important to you? Why? Why not? I, I have to say, luxurious brand is very important. I am not a label queen, but luxurious brands do have better quality and tastes, such as luxury brands, Cartier, Bulgari, Tiffany, Van Cleef and Arpels, Hermes, Prada, Versace, Chanel, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Dior, Givenchy, Valentino, Dolce & Gabbana, Armani, MCM, Burberry, Coach, Hugo Boss, Vera Wang. Are you interested in fashion or clothes fashions? What do you think of or about fashion? What do you think about fashion nowadays in your country? What do you think of modern fashions? Do you like the latest fashions? Why? Why not? Do many people in China follow fashion? If I am very fashionable, I will be the centre of people's attention. It can help me dress better and look more attractive. Fashion is a culture that has a colourful history, and it is very interesting to learn something from it. Fashion helps promote the industries related with it, such as media, you know, newspapers and magazines, sometimes even TV shows. Some brands are the sponsors of sports stars. They always wear that brand, and they look really good. Great fashion is designed with style and outstanding quality. I will always be a follower if I just stick to fashion magazines, you know, one step behind. Then I will always be out of fashion. Some fashions are just not my type. They don't suit me very well. They just make me look really weird. Fashion is too far away from the average people's daily life. It is the product for the rich and vanity. Some clothes and fashions are not my type. If I force myself to follow that kind of fashion, it will only become a disaster. It changes from time to time and it's really hard and expensive to follow the trend. But I'm not very interested in fashion. I barely pay attention to it. Some people just take fashion as a way to show off, and they don't really get it. What kinds of clothes are popular in China? What types of clothes are in fashion now? What kinds, styles of clothes do you like or prefer to wear? Why? What kinds of, or style of, clothes do people in your country like to wear? I like the most as casual clothes. They are comfortable and make me look younger. Semi-formal clothes. They go well with most situations. Formal clothes. They make me mature and official. Suits with a tie, bow tie. Dress with high heels. Vintage clothes. They are classic and elegant. I love Audrey Hepburn. Sporty clothes. They can help me move smoothly when I'm doing sports. They are very loose. Pajamas. They are very comfortable. Homewear. They are very comfortable. Downcoat. Jacket. 
It is so warm when I am in a down jacket. British style. I love the tartan design of the British style. It makes me look like a real lady, gentleman. American style. It makes people feel free, and it is very comfortable. Korean style. It fits Asian people's body shapes and makes us look better. Japanese style. It is super fashionable and trendy. There are a lot of talented designers in Japan. I think most clothes are fine, but I really don't like the as school uniform. Chinese school uniforms are horrible and ugly. Their designs make me feel depressed and look chubby, gobby. Bib overalls. They have been out of fashion for a very long time. Few people can pull them off. Only supermodels can rock these outfits. They are so troublesome when I need to go to the bathroom. Revealing outfits. They're too sexy for me. I don't need that kind of attention. Tights, leotard, unitard. They make me feel nervous and weird. It is almost impossible to move or breathe in the tights. Sporty clothes. They are very floppy and make me look fat. Do you think it's important what clothes a person wears? Why? Why not? Do you think the clothes a person wears leaves an impression on others? Do you think clothes are important to people? Why? Why not? Are clothes very important to you? Good clothes can make me look healthier and more attractive. Clothes of great quality can keep me warm and comfortable. Suitable clothes will help me to make a better impression on others. Clothes can show my social status. For instance, if I wear a Chanel dress, people will know that I have a great taste in clothes. For no obvious reason, new clothes just make me feel very confident about myself. Clothes can represent my lifestyle and taste. They are a part of me and a part of who I am. Choosing the right clothes for the right occasion can show my respect to others. Some people judge me by the clothes that I wear, but the clothes that I wear have nothing to do with my personalities and who I am. Some people don't really care about clothes, so they merely don't pay a lot of attention to it. I think clothes are just for keeping warm and helping me look decent. They don't really have any other use for me. But I think shopping for clothes is so troublesome and time-consuming that I would rather wear old clothes than go shopping for new ones. Where do you think you can buy the most fashionable clothes? I love shopping. In a shopping mall, plaza, such as Solana Shopping Center, Lafayette, because I can have a lot of options and pick my favorite ones from them. In a supermarket, you know, it is very convenient. Online, because I don't have to go out and walk a lot. It is so efficient. On official websites, and I can order limited editions of that brand. In small shops, because I can find something unique and different. Abroad, because it is cheaper and style updates faster than it does in China. In outlets, because the quality can be insured and the prices are really low. In flagship stores, because there are more options to choose from. In exclusive stores, because the products there are better and the services there are amazing. In a flea market, flea fair, because there are many antiques and interesting things there. Do you love clothes? Absolutely, I love them. I always have. Clothes make me feel good about myself. Like any girl who loves clothes, I have this natural talent to tell which outfit fits me and to know what outfit is appropriate for certain occasions. They make me feel confident, comfortable, and beautiful. What kind of clothes do you love to wear? I love to wear fashionably comfortable clothes because I am fashion conscious and I really care about the comfort. Do you wear different clothes under different occasions? Yes, I do. Different occasions call for totally different dress codes. For example, if I go for a party, I will have to put on a fancy dress and look attractive. While if it is for hiking, I will go for some comfortable sportswear. Can you tell people's personality by the clothes they wear? Yes, I think so. I think it is what we call the fashion sixth sense. 
If someone wears designer clothes, business suits, and tie all the time, he might be rich, stuck up, serious, and harsh. But if someone loves to wear clashing bright colors like bright red and burnt pink, that person must be frisky, bubbly, and sweet. In terms of clothes, what is more important to you, the utility or the design? It depends on their prices. If they are expensive designer clothes, I will definitely consider the utility more. You know, I don't want to spend thousands of RMB on something that I can only wear one season, but if the clothes are quite cheap, I will put the design in the first place. Who chooses clothes for you now? I always choose clothes for myself because I think I know myself more than anyone in the world. I know what looks good on me and what doesn't. Who chose clothes for you when you were little? Since I could remember things, I have always chosen clothes for myself. I remember my folks told me when I was little, you should be your own decision maker. Choosing your own clothes is a good start. Will you choose clothes for your friends? Oh, sure. When we go shopping together, I will definitely give them my fashion advice. I think I can help them save a lot of money on impulse buys. Do you have a lot of shoes? Yes, I have a huge collection of all kinds of shoes. I buy different shoes not only just for different outfits, but also for my collection. Do you buy shoes online? Explain why. Yes, but only on one condition. I go to the shoe store to try them on first, make sure the right size and color, and then order them online. The good thing about it is that the prices of shoes online are much lower than they are in stores. Do you have any favorite shoes? Well, I have a lot of favorite shoes, and I can't really choose one over another. They just go for different occasions. Do you wear different shoes on different occasions? Of course I do. I have a wide variety of different types of shoes. They are all designed for specific activities. For example, sneakers are designed for sports and other forms of physical exercise, while boots are specifically for heavy outdoor use. In terms of shoes, which is more important to you, the looks or the comfort? I think they are both important. A nice pair of shoes can have the nice looks and offers me the best comfort at the same time. Do you love to wear hats? Absolutely. As a hat person, I can make a list why I love hats. For starters, I love to wear hats because they cover my head and keep it warm, especially when the weather is lousy. Besides, the right piece can set off my outfit, flatter my face shape, and most importantly, make me look more fashionable. Hats or caps? Which do you prefer to wear? Explain why. Well, I would like to go for caps because they fit more closely to my head, and they normally made out of soft material. Another reason is that they are usually quite light and easy to be folded in bags. On what occasions do people normally wear hats? I don't think people today need a specific occasion to wear hats. Most people see hats as an everyday accessory. It is very common to see young guys put a ball cap on and wear it everywhere. Why do you think some people don't love to wear hats? I guess the biggest reason is that hats mess up their hairstyle and make them look weird when they put off their hats. You know, some people just hate frizzy hair. Did you wear hats when you were little? Yes, I did. When I was little, my mom bought me lots of sun-safe hats so I didn't get sunburned, and they totally protected my ears and face. Do you love bags? Yes, I am crazy about bags. It is a must-have when I go out. I have a huge collection of bags with different brands, materials, colors, and designs. I pick them to go with my different outfits and shoes. What kinds of bags do you love? I love totes and shoulder bags most because they all have a large capacity and high utility. Besides, designer bags can always draw my attention. What factors do you normally consider when you purchase bags? Design, brand, material, color, capacity, and utility are normally the main factors I will consider when I choose bags. I totally buy the saying that bags talk. Believe it or not, I think different bags can show people's tastes and even their personalities. 
Do you use different bags under different occasions? Totally. Totes for school and shopping, clutches for parties, weekenders, and backpacks for traveling. They all exist for a reason. How do you feel about the fact that designer bags are very expensive? Well, I think they are expensive for a certain reason. You know, those bag designers don't just sketch something out randomly and make them sell like hotcakes overnight. They must have particularly acute sense of smell and fashion to lead the trend and satisfy women of different tastes. Those bags they designed are all quite classic. For example, Chanel 255, LV Speedy, and Hermes Birkin have always been the it bags for millions of women. Would you spend a lot of money on a designer bag? I think I would love to do it. I know lots of people might think over 10,000 RMB for a bag is insane or a ripoff for them. But I think it is worth the money. A classic designer bag can put me in a good mood, boost my confidence, and show my taste in fashion. What kind of clothes do you like? Oh, I like to stay in vogue. So I'm after stylish clothes. I think women should wear quality, fashionable clothes to demonstrate their charm. How do you get information about fashion? Fashion information is everywhere. I get it from the internet, advertisements, TV programs, newspapers, and mostly fashion magazines. What's the difference between clothes at present and ten years ago? In the past, the colours and styles of clothes were very monotonic. Thousands of people looked the same, but now we can wear whatever we like. I bet that today you can't easily spot two people wearing the same clothes. What are the most fashionable clothes in China now? It's really difficult to say. Some like to dress up casually, others formally. It's really up to your own taste. As for me, I think vintage style is coming back and will lead the trend. What kinds of clothes do you like to wear? I would like to wear informal clothes, such as t-shirts and jeans, which are more comfortable to wear, and most of which are made of cotton. So I can stretch myself freely. Do you think clothes are important to people? Why? Why not? Yes. Although we can't judge a person simply by his or her clothes, we may learn a person's personality, profession, social status, and age from the clothes he or she wears. Do you think employees in a company should wear a uniform? To some extent, I think employees in a company should wear a uniform which represents their corporate culture. What's more, employees don't need to be worried about what they should wear every day when they wear a uniform. However, uniforms should not be too dark or too serious. Do many people in China follow fashion? No, not really. A few young people follow fashion. Because they think that they should wear stylish and trendy clothes, otherwise they will be out of date. Do you think your taste in fashion will be the same when you are old? No, I guess it will be different. People need to wear different kinds of clothes according to their age. When I grow old, I may try wearing more comfortable clothes suitable for my age. Okay, here we're looking at the topic of clothes, and clothes come up in part one, come up in part two, and they also come up in part three. So it's important to know how to talk about clothes. Let's have a listen to this first question. What kind of clothes do you love to wear? And I think I mentioned this before, but in the test, I've never heard them use the word love. It's a little bit weird to see it here. And unique, I think. I have good taste in clothes. I know what suits me and what doesn't. I always wear clothes and never let clothes wear me. All right. So here are some words that you can use when talking about clothes, like to have a taste in clothes, to know what suits you, and if you feel that it's true for you, 
uh, never let clothes wear me so wear clothes that are suitable for you don't make the clothes the most important thing of how you look people say clothes speak one's personality I couldn't agree more I love chic clothes I'm vibrant sparkling and fashionable okay so she has a lot of vocabulary but notice how the sentences are all short I love chic clothes I'm vibrant sparkling and fashionable so to get a good score for grammar you're gonna have to use longer sentences than the ones we saw her use do you normally get clothes in China also in part one they never mention the name of your country they will just say your country so don't be surprised if they don't actually mention your country's name Wow I'm totally spoiled for choice shopping malls department stores boutiques wholesale markets and online stores see here we have the same thing it looks like the sentence is very long but actually this is the only phrase wow I'm totally spo spoiled for choice then she just goes on to give a long list of examples giving long lists is okay but choose one or two of those and then expand on that so that's what she does here she starts talking about how she buy clothes online I normally buy clothes online because they're quite cheap and it's time-saving it's time-saving I would say it's a time saver not it's time-saving are the clothes in China very expensive well it depends on what kind of clothes we're talking about here clothes of luxury brands like Chanel LV Gucci and Hermes are very expensive I guess it's because import tariffs are heavy but as to domestic brands clothes are tariffs are heavy uh, I do like that she uses the word tariff tariff is an example of a word that's not used a lot but tariffs are high tariffs are not heavy pretty cheap what kind of pattern of clothes stripes plates or flowers I don't even know what this question is what kind of pattern of clothes what <laughs> well I can't say one particular kind is my favorite I mean a nice piece of clothing is definitely not just about stripes plaids or flowers the color design and style are all important factors all right so when talking about clothes yeah, design and style. Those are words that you can use to describe clothes. And the key to bring a piece of clothing to life is not what you wear, but how you wear it. <sighs> this sounds very cliche. But anyway, this, to bring a piece of clothing to life, how to make the clothes interesting. This is a good phrase to use. And not just with clothes. You could use this with pretty much anything. How to bring, oh, I don't know, how to bring... A garden to life if you're talking about flowers or something or how to bring an essay to life if you're writing an essay in other words you should wear the clothes not let the clothes wear you mm, yeah well she said that already <laughs> be careful of repeating yourself too much can you tell people's personality by the clothes they are wearing this is a useful question to take note of can you tell someone's personality by something it's not always the clothes they wear it could be I don't know the music they listen to can you tell someone's personality by the food they enjoy eating it could be a whole different bunch of scenarios but yeah these kind of questions are common as the saying goes don't judge a book by its cover we shouldn't judge people by the clothes that they wear but they do have this incredible magic to show others the personality of the person who wears them. I think it's what we call the fashion sixth sense. Okay. Uh, you can make things up. <laughs> That's okay. I've never heard anyone talk about the fashion sixth sense, but it makes sense. It doesn't sound wrong to me. If someone wears designer clothes, business suits and tie all the time, he might be rich, stuck up, serious or harsh just one thing here if it's business suits in the plural then it's got to be ties you don't wear the same tie all the time so business suits and ties but if someone loves to wear clashing bright colors like 
bright red, pink, gold, yellow, and cute accessories like Elle in Legally Blonde, she must be frisky, bubbly, and sweet. Well, we see here this woman using a lot of adjectives. Frisky, bubbly, sweet. And when it comes to colors, lots of colors also. So she definitely has the vocabulary down. I just wish, this, I just wish the sentences were a little bit longer. Which fact did you consider more when you buy clothes? The utility or the design? So the utility is the use you can get from the clothes. For example, if you buy a raincoat and it doesn't keep you dry, but it looks good, it doesn't have much utility, it doesn't have much use. It depends on how much they are. If they're designer clothes and very expensive, I'll definitely consider the utility more. I don't want to spend thousands of renminbi on something that I can only wear one season. But if they're in my price range, I'll put the design... Price range is a good phrase to use. Something is in your price range if you can afford it in first place I'll put the design in first place huh I would say I will make design my first consideration or I will mainly consider design I mean even if it's out quickly I won't regret spending the money all right so here when she talks about the clothes being out what she means is out of fashion so you can say in or out. If something is in fashion, it's in. If it's out of fashion, it's out. After all, fashion changes so fast that something which is in this season would be totally out in the blink of an eye. Okay, here's a nice idiom, blink of an eye. If something happens in a blink of an eye, it happens very quickly. What kind of color do you love now? Well, it's... Again with the love pretty hard to particularly pick out one color. I love a lot of colors now. I love contrasting colors like green and Chinese red. I do like the contrasting colors. Using the word contrasting here is great. I don't know what Chinese red is. I don't know as much as color about colors as this woman does. She seems to know a lot about clothes and colors. Bright blue and lemon yellow Burnt orange and metallic grey. Burnt orange, I don't know what that is. They're all eye-catching and sparkling. Again, the vocabulary is really good, but short sentences. Eye-catching, sparkling. These are great words to use. Besides, I love black too because it gives people a mysterious, mature and sophisticated vibe. Okay, here's some great words here. Uh... Well, maybe not that great. The vibe I really like. A sophisticated vibe is like a sophisticated feeling. Like when you look at this person, they seem to be very mysterious or mature or sophisticated. Vibe is a good word. What kind of colors do you love more? Bright colors or dark colors? Mm. Light colors appeal to me more because they make my complexion look great. Complexion is a good word to use. I guess when you talk about clothes, yeah. Clothes and colors. And I totally buy the saying that colors speak one's personality. It's not a good thing. This buy, I totally buy. This buy means to believe something. Hmm. Take me as an example. I fancy bright colors. I'm sparkling and vibrant. Okay. What kind of color did you love before? When I was little, I was a big fan of pink. Different tones of pink. Baby pink, light pink, bright... Okay, <laughs> again with all the colors. But what I do want to point out is that when she's listing these things, just note her intonation, how it rises. She said bright pink. What was before the bright pink? Let's have a look here. Oh, light pink. Light pink, bright pink, Barbie pink. With the voice rising to show that the list is not finished yet. Bright pink, Barbie pink. But now, I don't fancy pink anymore. I think it's too girly and a little bit cheesy. 
Cheesy is a good word to use. Cheesy is used to describe things that are so overused that they've lost their meaning. It's not original anymore. What kind of colors do young guys love? This is not a weird question. Young guys? Does that mean just men? Well, it totally depends on their personalities. If they're vibrant and sparkling, they might fancy eye-catching colors like burnt red, barbie pink, and metallic blue. Oh boy. Okay. A lot of the words seem to be recycled, like vibrant, sparkling, fancy. Hmm. Barbie pink and metallic blue, while if they're mature and low-key, dark colors might appeal to them more. Low-key is good. Low-key is if you don't want to attract attention to yourself. You don't want to be noticed all that easily. What colors do Chinese love? Okay, what do these love. colors mean to Chinese? All right. Uh, they're never going to give you two questions in one. They're going to give you one question and then the other. So I don't know why they combine these two here. The Chinese. Red is one of the colors beloved by the Chinese. The color red symbolizes celebration, happiness, and good things. Okay, so when talking about colors, yeah, symbolize is a word that you should probably know because colors do stand for things. Symbolize is a word that you're going to have to use. Things. In the celebration of the Chinese New Year holidays and gatherings, red is a must. Notice here how must is used as a noun. So something that you have to have or something that you have to do. Even in Western countries, people call days when something happy happened red letter days. And they say, roll out the red carpet to welcome honored guests. I have to say, these are pretty good examples. The letter red day and rolling out the red carpet. Like to welcome someone, to make someone feel honored. Uh, just one thing. I don't know why this is in the past tense. When something happy happened. When something happy happens. It's not finished. It still happens. The symbol of the royal family. Especially the emperor. Yellow symbolizes soup. Uh, speaking about the emperor. Just make sure you know the difference between the emperor, the person, and the empire. The empire is the country. Sometimes I hear people confuse those two. Supreme power, the highest status, and nobleness. Nobleness? Uh, there's a word you don't see very often. Usually people say nobility. Not that there's anything wrong with it. What is the color that you would never use in your flat? Hmm. Any dark color, I guess. It's too dark, too depressing, and too unacceptable to be used to paint the flat. It's too unacceptable to be used. Hmm. I don't really know what you mean. So does you mean it's not appropriate? Too inappropriate? I'm not sure that you would ever decide on colors for your own apartment to be unacceptable. Acceptable to be used to paint the flat. A flat is the place which is supposed to give people a warm and cozy feeling. A flat is the place. Why not your flat is the place? Hmm. If it's a flat, a flat is a flat is a place. A flat is a place. Your flat is the place. Anyway. Therefore, colors like white, like green and beige can serve better. All right. I don't know if I really want to go through all these phrases. Uh, they're kind of repetitive. <laughs> like here, for example, there's just a long bunch of brand names. You could probably listen to that by yourself. So let's skip ahead to the Q&A and listen to some questions here. Do you love clothes? Again, with the loves. Absolutely. I love them. I always have. Clothes make me feel good about myself. Like any girl who loves clothes, I have this natural talent. Now, it's a bit weird that this was written, because this is someone reading, written for a woman, but then they get a guy to read it. It sounds a bit weird. 
Like any girl who loves clothes, I have this natural talent to tell which outfit fits me and to know what outfit is appropriate for certain occasions. Yeah, when you talk about clothes, I guess outfit is a good word to use. The outfit just means the clothes that you're wearing right now, or any clothes that go together. They make me feel confident, comfortable, and beautiful. <laughs> it's weird to have a guy say that, or for me at least. What kind of clothes do you love to wear? I love to wear fashionably comfortable clothes because I am fashion conscious and I really care about the comfort. Ah, oh, comfort. Not many people use the noun. A lot of people are used to using the adjective comfortable. Not so many people use the noun comfort. Do you wear different clothes under different occasions? That woman sounds a bit odd when she speaks. She's got a very halting way of talking. On different occasions. The preposition for occasions is on. Different occasions? Yes, I do. Different occasions call for totally different dress codes. All right, this is good. This call for, call for here means like require. Dress codes though, I don't know. A code is kind of like a rule. Hmm. Are there many occasions where there are rules about what clothes you need to wear? Like a party has a dress code? Different occasions call for totally different dress codes. For example, if I go for a party, I will have to put on a fancy dress and look. Go for a party. Go to a party. If you attend a party, you go to the party. Go for means to choose. No, I don't think it means if I choose a party. I think it just means if I attend a party. So it should be go to. In a fancy dress and look attractive. Well, if it is for hiking, I will go. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot. Okay. I forgot for a second. This is written from a woman's perspective. I was thinking, does he mean a costume? Well, okay. Never mind. Go for some comfortable sportswear. Can you tell people's personality by the clothes they wear? Oh. Yes, I think. Right, so here we see this again, and I think this is exactly the same answer, because here we see six cents again. And I think we're going to see the same adjectives. <laughs> I think so. I think it is what we call the fashion sixth sense. Mm -hmm. If someone wears designer clothes, business suits, and tie all the time. And it's the same mistake, suits and tie. He might be rich stuck up serious and harsh but if someone loves to wear clashing bright colors like bright red and burnt pink that person must be frisky bubbly and sweet in terms of clothes what is more important to you the utility or the design it depends on their prices if they are expensive designer clothes I will definitely consider the utility more you know, I don't want to spend thousands of RMB on something that I can only wear one season. But if the clothes are quite cheap, I will put the design in the first place. Yeah, that's exactly the same. Who chooses clothes for you now? I can't imagine that in the real test they'll ever ask you this question. Because I think 99% of people are going to have the same answer. Chooses clothes for you now. I always choose clothes for myself because I think I know myself more than anyone in the world. I think I know myself more. Whoa, you not sure? Maybe we should say I know myself better. But how are you not sure about this, I think? I know what looks good on me and what doesn't. Mm, sounds good. It's just short, short answer. Who chose clothes for you when you were little? Since I could remember things, I have always chosen clothes for myself. Since I could remember things. Since I can remember. If you say since I could remember things, it sounds like right now you can't remember these things anymore. So since I can remember, I have always chosen blah 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 blah. So since my earliest memories since I can remember I remember my folks told me when I was little you should be your own decision maker this is actually a good word to use instead of parents you said folks now I don't know if this is a real quote you should be your own decision maker do parents say that to children it sounds really fake 
Be your own decision maker. Choosing your own clothes is a good start. Okay, whatever. Will you choose clothes for your friends? Oh, sure. When we go shopping together, I will definitely give them my fashion advice. This is definitely written for a woman, I think. I think I can help them save a lot of money on impulse buys. All right, that's great. Impulse buys. So those things that you don't plan on buying, but they just look so good that you can't resist them. Good word to use. Again, the answer is just a little bit short, though. Do you have a lot of shoes? Yes, I have a huge collection of all kinds of shoes. I buy different shoes not only just for different outfits, but also for my collection. Now, if you say you have so many different kinds of shoes, why not talk about some of them? Because look at this answer, it's so short. So talk about some of the shoes you have. Do you buy shoes online? Explain why. Yes, but only on one. Uh, also, hang on a second, let's go back to this. They're not going to put this explain why right at the beginning. They're just going to say, do you buy shoes online? And then if your answer is too short, later they will say why. But you're never going to hear these two phrases put together like this. Do you buy shoes online? Explain why. Yes, but only on one condition. I go to the shoe store to try them on first, make sure the right size and color, and then... Is that a condition? I buy shoes on one condition. I go to the shoe store. I'm not sure that's a condition. Because a condition is something that's imposed by someone or something. Mm. It's not terribly wrong, it just sounds weird to say this is a condition. Or to try them on first, make sure the right size and color, and then... I think actually here he said, I think they're the right, they're the right, what did he say? Make sure the right size and color. No, he did say the. Oh yeah, there's something missing there. Make sure they're the right size and color. So there is a word missing from there. Make sure they are the right size and color. Or and then order them online. The good thing about it is that the prices of shoes online are much lower than they are in stores. Do you have any favorite shoes? Well, I have a lot of favorite shoes and I can't really choose one over another. They just go for different occasions. What? They go for different occasions. Okay, well first of all, this answer is too short. So if you say they are appropriate, some are more appropriate for different occasions, that would be okay. This is not right. So some are more appropriate for different occasions. Well, then talk about the occasions. So when I go play basketball or whatever, I like to wear these kinds of shoes. But when I go to school, I wear these kinds of shoes. When I go to the beach, I wear those. Oof, you really need to expand your answers. That's too short. You wear different shoes on different occasions? Of course I do. I have a wide variety of different types of shoes. They are all designed for specific activities. Okay. For example, sneakers are designed for sports and other forms of physical exercise, while boots are specifically for heavy outdoor use. Okay, it's a little bit better. So, I always wear my sneakers when I... And then when I go where I wear my boots. Some more specific examples. In terms of shoes, which is more important to you? The looks or the comfort? I think they are both important. A nice pair of shoes can have the nice looks. The nice looks. A nice pair of shoes can have a nice look. A nice look. The shoes, two shoes go together. They have a nice look. And offers me the best comfort at the same time. What? Which is more important? I think if you're talking about what's more important, you have to say a nice pair of shoes should have a nice look. Maybe not can. Alright, well, I'm nitpicking here. That's maybe not that important. You wear hats? Absolutely. As a hat person, I... 
All right, this is pretty good. As a hat person, you can put other nouns in there. Like, for example, if you like, I don't know, dogs, you're a dog person, if you're talking about animals. I can make a list why I love hats. <laughs> for starters, I love to wear hats because they cover my head and keep it warm. Oh my god. I love to wear hats because they cover my head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. It just sounds weird. Especially when the weather is lousy. Mm -hmm. Besides, the right piece can set off my outfit, flatter my face shape, and most importantly, make me look more fashionable. This face shape just sounds a little bit weird. Uh, I mean, I guess it's not wrong, but I've never heard anyone say that anything flatters their face shape. Actually, I've never heard anyone use the two words together, face shape. I mean, it's not wrong. You can't use the two words together. It's just so weird together. Hats or caps? Hats or caps? Which do you prefer to wear? Explain why. Well, I would like to go for caps because they fit more closely to my head. Okay, so here is the opt for, go for. Remember when he said, when I go f for a party? But here he's using it correctly. So when I choose caps, when I opt for caps. And they normally made out of soft material. Another reason is that they are usually quite light and easy to be folded in bags. They're light and easy to be folded in bags. Okay, okay. On what occasions do people normally wear hats? I don't think people today need a specific occasion to wear hats. Good point. This is an odd question, but hey, sometimes there are weird questions. Most people see hats as an everyday accessory. It is very common to see young guys put a ball cap on and wear it everywhere. Why do you think some people don't love to wear hats? I guess the biggest reason is that hats mess up their hairstyle and make them look weird when they put off their hats put off their hats. Surely it's take off their hats. Put it on, take it off. You know, some people just hate frizzy hair. Alright, frizzy is good to describe someone's hairstyle. Some people have straight hair, curly hair, frizzy hair. Did you wear hats when you were little? I can just imagine being in the test and getting all these questions about hats. <laughs> I don't think many people give a lot of thought to hats day to day. So this gives you an idea of how weird the questions can be sometimes. Yes, I did. When I was little, my mom bought me lots of sun safe hats, so I didn't get sunburned. I don't know what a sun safe hat is. Is it a sun hat? Sun safe hat. I don't know. Like if something is pet safe, let's say for example you have uh, I don't know, let's say some shampoo, I don't want to say shampoo, maybe some toys that some animals might chew on, and on the toy it'll say pet safe, that means the pet's not going to get harmed. So here, sun safe, does that mean the sun is not going to get harmed? I'm a little bit confused by this one here, I think it's just a sun hat. And they totally protected my ears and face. Okay, yeah, that's what hats do, right? Do you love bags? <laughs> Yes, I am crazy about bags. It is a must-have when I go out. Bags it. Hmm. I have a huge collection of bags with different brands, material. Oh, hang on a second. Where am I now? Oh, here we go. Uh, I have a huge collection of bags with different brands. See, there's a problem here because... The bags are made of different material, different colors, and different designs, but it's not made of different brands. So I have a huge collection of bags from different brands with different material, colors, and designs. So the, just the preposition here needs to be different. This has to be by, by different brands with different design materials and designs i pick them to go with my different outfits and shoes what kinds of bags do you love 
I love totes and shoulder bags most because they all have a large capacity and high utility. Again, this is not wrong, but I've never heard, I mean, I don't really have, I have one bag. I don't know that much about bags, but I've never heard anyone talk about the capacity of bags. Unless it's like luggage type bags. Uh, I don't know, usually people would just say, oh, this bag is pretty big. They have a large capacity. It's not wrong, because I mean, technically it is true, but do people naturally talk like this? No. Besides, designer bags can always draw my attention. Wait, what? Oh, he's not talking. He's not talking about his own bags. Okay. Please draw my attention. What factors do you normally consider when you purchase bags? Design, brand. I think he already mentioned these. You know, if you have already mentioned things in an earlier answer. The examiner is not going to ask you questions where you're going to have to repeat yourself. They're going to skip that question. What factors do you normally consider when you purchase bags? Design, brand, material, color, capacity, and capacity. utility are normally the main factors I will consider when I choose bags. I totally buy the saying that bags talk. No, no one has ever said that. This is not a saying. Bags talk, no. The buy is good. Uh, again, this means to believe something. Believe it or not, I think different bags can show people's tastes and even their personalities. Do you use different bags under different occasions? Here we have under again. It's on, on, on different occasions. Under goes with circumstances. Under certain circumstances. On different occasions. Totally. Totes for school and shopping. Clutches for parties weekenders and backpacks for traveling this guy has an excellent bag vocabulary they all exist for a reason and the reason is what well don't just stop there say what the reason is how do you feel about the fact that designer bags are very expensive <laughs> this is kind of a hard question for part one so this would probably be the fourth question you get on a certain topic the ones that are a little bit more difficult expensive well I think they are expensive for a certain reason you know though they're expensive for a reason drop the certain those bag designers don't just sketch something out randomly and make them sell like hotcakes overnight Ooh, there's some good words here hotcakes also overnight together it's really good so like hotcakes so it's very popular overnight very suddenly very quickly they must have particularly acute sense of smell and fashion all right so here we have acute again this is good but now sense this is a countable noun so they must have a particularly acute sense of smell but the acute's really good and the adverb also particularly acute so the grammar is good, but then we just have these small mistakes, like the articles are missing. To lead the trend and satisfy women of different tastes. Lead the trend. That's also a really good phrase. Lots of good vocabulary here. Different tastes. Those bags they designed are all quite classic. For example... But now that I think about it, there should be different tastes. Satisfy women of different tastes are all quite classic. For example, Chanel 255, LV Speedy, and Hermes Birkin have always been the it bags for millions of women. And here, the it bag. This is a great use of the word it, so it's like must have. We saw must have before. Here we could also say, I've always been the must have bags for millions of women. Would you spend a lot of money on a designer bag? I think I would love to do it. I know lots of people might think over 10,000 RMB for a bag is insane or a ripoff for them. Mm, a ripoff is good when you are overcharged. But I think it is worth the money. A classic designer bag can put me in a good mood, boost my confidence, and show my taste in fashion. Mm. 
these answers are beginning to sound extremely rehearsed. Like listening to this, I kind of feel exhausted <laughs> because none of it sounds true. I mean, the language is all very good. It just doesn't sound very natural. None of it sounds natural. What kind of clothes do you like? Oh, I like to stay in vogue, so I'm after stylish clothes. I think women should wear quality, fashionable clothes to demonstrate their charm. I was a little bit conf confused the first time I heard this. I thought, why does this guy care what women wear? But I think this is written for a woman again. Again, I don't know why the guy is reading something written for a woman, but here it is. But if you say something like this, you're going to have to say why. How do you get information about fashion? Fashion information is everywhere. I get it from the internet, advertisements, TV programs, newspapers, and mostly fashion magazines. These answers follow the same pattern, except this guy speaks even more slowly than the other guy. Don't just list things. Internet, advertisement, TV programs, give some examples. Because otherwise, you're going to get such a low score for grammar. What's the difference between clothes at present and 10 years ago? There's no difference. In the past, the colors and styles of clothes were very monotonic. 10 years ago? 2009? I don't remember that being true. Thousands of people looked the same. No, they didn't. But now, we can wear whatever we like. Well, we could do that in the past too. What? I bet that today, you can't easily spot two people wearing the same clothes. I saw plenty of them yesterday. <laughs> A lot of people wear matching outfits. I don't know. They think it's cute. There's something to saying answers that just ring false. What are the most fashionable clothes in China now? Hmm. It's really difficult to say. Some like to dress up casually. You can't dress up casually. Because to dress up means you put a lot of effort into what you wear. You dress <laughs> if you dress up you look nice I think what he wants to say is some like to dress casually not dress up dress casually there's a difference between dressing and dressing up others formally it's really up to your own taste as for me I think vintage style is coming back and will lead the trend vintage style uh, all right fine do you like to wear I would like to wear informal clothes, such as t-shirts and... Now hang on a second, the question is, what kind of clothes do you like to wear? So usually, I would, why the would? Just say I like to wear. This is what's, what's normally true, not what could be true. Wear informal clothes, such as t-shirts and jeans, which are more comfortable to wear, and most of which are made of cotton so I can stretch myself freely. I can stretch myself freely. I don't know what that means. I don't know if she means like when she wakes up in the morning and she stretches. She can easily stretch. And the, and the clothes don't inhibit her. But you just, I can stretch. There's no myself. I can stretch freely. But I don't know what clothes are that tight that you can't stretch. Do you think clothes are important to people? Why? Why not? Yes. Although we can't judge a person simply by his or her clothes. Just one thing. Instead of saying his or her, why don't we just say their? Yes, although we can't judge a person simply by their clothes, we may learn blah 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 blah. We may learn a person's personality, profession, social status, and age from the clothes he or she wears. If you're going to say something like this, that you can tell people's personality, profession, social status, and age from their clothes, you're going to have to give an example of how you do that. Examples, please. 
Do you think employees in a company should wear a uniform? Mm. To Uniforms come up quite a lot. To some extent, I think employees in a company should wear a uniform which represents their corporate culture. All right, this is pretty good. If she just spoke a little bit faster and if she just spoke a little bit more naturally, the corporate culture I really like. It's like the way that the company does business, what the company believes in. Uh, and here, to some extent, because a lot of the times things are not just as black and white as the questions might suggest. So to say to some extent, I think is a good way to start an answer where you can see things from two different perspectives. Uh, and she does. She doesn't feel she doesn't feel that the, there's only one possible answer to this. Culture. What's more, employees don't need to be worried about what they should wear every day when they wear a uniform. Hmm. However, Okay, so here comes the other side. Uniforms should not be too dark or too serious. Oh, I thought she was going to say in some circumstances is not necessary. Do you think empl employees in a company should wear a uniform to some extent? To some extent, I do believe that. <laughs> but the counter here, however, uniforms should not be too dark or serious. So I do think that they should wear uniforms. After listening to this, I'm a little bit confused about why she said to some extent. Because she completely agrees. She just thinks the uniforms should be brightly colored. Her uniforms should not be too dark or too serious. So yeah, I agree. So then why did you say to some extent? Do many people in China follow fashion? No, not really. A few young people follow fashion because they think that they should wear stylish and trendy clothes. Otherwise, they will be out of date. I'm not sure what the they refers to. Does it refer to the people? If it refers to the clothes, I don't think clothes can be out of date. Clothes can be out of style. Out of style? Yes. Out of date? No. Do you think your taste in fashion will be the same when you are old? No. I guess it will be different. People need to wear different kinds of clothes according to their age. I think what she's trying to say is People need to wear clothing appropriate for their age, I think. Appropriate for their age. Their age. When I grow old, I may try wearing more comfortable clothes suitable for my age. Well, how is that different from now? Are your clothes right now very uncomfortable? I don't know. Examples, please. Examples.